This lecture is on uh, series aiding, aiding and opposing power supplies. So I've got two different power supplies here. I got the one on the on the left, and we got a series aiding, and I got the one on the right, which is a series opposing. Let's take a look at the one on the left. The only difference between these two is the polarity of this particular power supply here. Uh, so we look at that, we got on this side, we've got a positive negative, and on that side, we've got a negative positive. So <clears throat> when we think of series aiding, we're actually, we're talking about summing the voltage power supplies. And when we're talking about series opposing, we have to look at the polarity of the individual power supplies and see how many of the power supplies are opposing the other ones. It's kind of like when you have a flashlight, you know, like a standard pen type flashlight. And you put batteries in that flashlight. And let's say I got three AAA batteries. And on the one side of the battery, I've got that little bump. So like that. And if I had 1.5 volts there and 1.5 volts there and 1.5 volts there, I would end up with a total of 4.5 volts. Normally you would take your batteries and you put them, you know, this side here is the negative is the positive and then and then the bottom of this battery is the negative. So I got the positive on the top side, negative there, negative on the bottom, positive on the top, negative on the bottom, positive on the top. So notice how it's negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. So the idea is that, well, if you have negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, then those would all add together. So I would have nine plus nine plus nine. So I would have a total voltage of 27 volts in this particular scenario. And then on this one over here, if I look at this one, I've got positive, negative, negative, positive, negative, positive. So I've got Let's just take a look at this. I got positive, negative, negative, positive, negative, positive. So really what we're talking about is, well, we've got positive, negative, positive, negative. So there's nine volts there. There is nine volts there. So it's 18 volts. But this one is opposing it. So that's going to be a negative nine volts. So that cancels that right like that. So we're left with nine volts. So this side is 9 volts. So let's complete these two and see what happens when we have an increase in voltage and a decrease in voltage. So my total resistance on the series aiding side is going to be the sum of the individual resistors. I've got 200 ohms here. And my total current in this particular circuit, IT equals ET over RT is going to leave me with 135 milliamps of current or 0.135 amps and my power my power is a function of my voltage times my amperage so I've got 27 volts times 0.135 leaves me with 3.645 watts and if we take a look at my voltage drop here <clears throat> my voltage drop here I know that these two values are the same and the current is going to be the same. I've got 135 milliamps of current running through there. So I know that my current is going to be the same and my resistance is the same. And if my resistance is the same and my current is the same, I'm going to have an equal voltage drop, in which case I'm going to have 13.5 uh, volts here because I have 27 volts. So they're going to divide them equal, 13.5 volts there. Let's take a look at this one here. My RT, same thing, 200 ohms. And my total current in this particular case is going to be 0.045 amps or 45 milliamps. And then my total power, my power equals E times I, 9 times 0.045 is going to give me 
0.405 watts or 405 milliwatts. Now let's go take a look over here. The voltage drops are going to be the same thing. So the, the current is 45 milliamps. Current is 45 milliamps there. The voltages are going to divide equally. And I have a total of 9 volts in the circuit. So I'm going to have 4.5 volts there and 4.5 volts there. 